hello and welcome back so since we added our enemy drone now let's add a script to this enemy drone so if you click on this scripts okay what we will do right here is create a new c sharp script let's name this as enemy drone let's open up the script and in here we want all of the same thing as we did for the enemy so let me remove all of this okay let's go back to the enemy script from here copy this using unity engine ai paste it down below and then simply copy what is between this main enemy class so just simply copy all of this to this point let's copy all of that and in here we will simply paste it okay now it is time for some changes let's leave all of this as it is or actually you can change this to enemy drone if you want you can add this drone wherever you want okay for, for example there there and there and there and there okay if you want the drone to be the final beast or you can say boss of the game then you can increase the drone health to 150 or something okay but i will leave everything as it is okay let me scroll down we will leave the update as it is now insert this card this card function will be the same for the drone let me check the pursue player and let's leave the pursue as same as well and now let's check this shoot player okay we will stop the drone we will make the drone to look at the player and then it will shoot and if it shoots the player body then we will give damage to the player and then this is the animations and after this we have the enemy hit and the enemy die these will be the same as well for now let's just simply comment out all of the animations because we don't have an animator for our enemy drone so we will just simply comment all of these out okay so you can just select all of them and press on control and slash button or you can say the divide button okay if you are using windows okay so let's quickly assign all of these things to the enemy drone if we come right here to the unity click on enemy drone let's assign the enemy drone script let me move the script right there first of all let's assign the animator so we'll wait right here let's assign this animator we need to assign the nozzle spark as well but for now let's just comment out the muzzle spark let's comment this as well now if we get back click on the enemy drone right there let's assign this enemy agent okay let's assign the node mesh agent then we need to assign the look point so the look point will be this and then we need to provide the shooting ray cast area and we don't have that so just like the enemy we have the shooting area let's do the same for the enemy drone so we will create that and let's name this as shooting area okay shooting area actually remove this audio listener from this enemy shooting area okay because we don't need audio listener there 
and now click on the shooting area and add a camera to it okay now we have the camera assigned let's move this outside like that I guess let's leave it there for now Let's leave it somewhere right there, okay? And now click on this enemy drone. Let's assign the shooting area. Then let's assign the player. Whoops. Let me click on it to assign the player area. Let's add the player layer. We need to add the walking points for this drone. So let's assign three walking points to this drone right now. So in the work points, let's create the drone work point. Where is it? Okay, it is right there. Let's move this above. Let's try it right there. Okay. So the drone first walking area will be this. Let's uh, move it right here, so we're right here, okay. Let's move the drone as well. And now let's duplicate the drone walking area. The second walking point will be right there and then the third one will be somewhere right here okay close to this warehouse now if you click on this enemy drone let's assign the walking points like that let's set the enemy speed or you can say the drone speed to five and time between shots will be 0 0.1 okay, because we, uh, it has a machine gun attached to the drone so it will shoot really quick and then we need to provide the vision radius so let's make it 15 and the shooting radius will be 10 and i think that will be it now let me do that okay let's just play the game and see how does it looks if it works or not okay so as you can see now the drone is moving towards with specific work points as you can see the first work point was set right there and the third one was there and as you can see when he moved there now he is back to that work point and the drone will come to this work point let's wait for him okay he's coming we can't damage the uh, drone because we don't have the rifle we don't provide the rifle that if we hit the drone then we want to decrease the health okay so as you can see now the drone is facing towards us so as you can see when we move the drone also moves as you can see and he can shoot us as well let me disable the enemy and let's leave the drone for now okay and click on this player change into debug let's see if the drone 
damage the player or not. Okay, let's run towards the drone. Okay, the drone can't shoot us as you can see. We don't have any message in the console nor right here. The health is the same, but the drone is facing towards us. And I think we need to make the shooting area We need to place this in an accurate place so I guess what we need to do click on this shooting area okay let's move this there or oh, actually I will uh, move this uh, game tab to my next screen uh, so that we can see this shooting area accurately okay so I have moved my game tab there let me now play the game and let's see how the camera of the drone looks okay as you can see here is the view let's move towards the enemy drone let's see how does it camera looks the drone camera okay come on man look right here okay is the drone is facing us but I don't know why it didn't shoot a bullet let's move the shooting area a little bit down below let me go right there let's move it somewhere right here now as you can see it shows that shooting player so we need to move down the camera to that position okay so copy the component and then close the game okay so now we have the component values copied now what we can do we can simply click on the shooting area and paste component values paste that values there and simply now disable that now let me clear the console and now you will see that when we start the game it will show us right here that shooting player and let me add that tab now the game tab back again right there okay let's click on this player go inside debug mode so that you guys can see how the health decrease okay let's play the game and if we run towards the drone Now as you can see our health is decreasing and when it becomes zero or less than zero our player dies. Okay. It means that our drone is now fully functional. The drone can move towards the walk point, it can attack and also it can pursue the player. Because we have a code for that so the attacking or you can say the shooting is working, then also the pursue will work. Okay. As you saw it changes the positioning so with this done in the next video we will add the animations to our drone and also we will add the model spark so with this done see you guys in the next video